Hi guys, today I'm going to do a review of the waves topic. So terms you need to know. Wavefront, a straight line across a wave where all the particles are in phase. Speed, the distance travelled per second. Frequency, the number of complete waves per second. Wavelength, the distance between two corresponding points on two successive waves. Time period, the time taken for one complete wave. Amplitude, the maximum displacement from the wave's undisturbed position. Medium, the matter that the wave is travelling through. So here we've got a picture of a wave, and you can see the amplitude, well, that's from the wave's rest position to the maximum displacement, or the peak. And the wavelength, well, here you can see one whole wave, but it could be from peak to peak or from trough to trough. The wave equation, well, wave velocity in meters per second is equal to the wavelength times by the frequency. Transverse waves. With transverse waves, the medium vibrates perpendicularly to the direction of energy transfer. Okay, and here's another example. So transverse waves vibrate at right angles to the direction of travel of the wave. And a Mexican wave is a nice example. Light is an example of a transverse wave. Longitudinal waves. With longitudinal waves, the medium vibrates, vibrates parallel to the direction of energy transfer. So longitudinal vi waves vibrate parallel to the direction of travel of the wave. Sound waves are longitudinal. So sound is an example of a longitudinal wave, and here you can see a, a loudspeaker, and we get regions where the particles in the air are compressed, and, and areas where we get something called rarefaction, where there's few particles. And these kind of uh, pulses, they get passed on through the air, and then you hear them a sound. Wave reflection. When a wave meets a boundary, the wave will be reflected. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Refraction. When waves pass between two different media, often refraction can occur. The wave speed and wavelength will change, however the frequency will remain the same. The direction of wave travel will also change. Diffraction. When a wave passes through a gap or around an obstacle, the wave will spread out. The smaller the gap, the greater the wave will spread out through the gap. Okay guys, hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.